Etched within this slice of silicon lies the image of a company's future. A future filled with the bold application of new, more efficient manufacturing technologies, high-yield automated assembly equipment, real-time process control systems, computer-driven interactive robotics technology, all brought together in one place with a single purpose in mind, to shape the future of the IC manufacturing industry. This is Fairchild Digital. Against the backdrop of tradition-bound Maine stands the profile of a new generation of semiconductor production technology. The next step in a quarter century of innovation that began with Fairchild's discovery of the planar isolation process in the late 1950s. The process that started the integrated circuit industry. Now Fairchild has taken the next major step toward improving IC production efficiency. A new robotics assembly facility which brings together the latest in automated molding, bonding and testing equipment with the most extensive real-time yield tracking and evaluation system in use today. The result? A phenomenal increase in productivity and throughput, a higher level of quality control. Fairchild South Portland is the home of FAST, advanced Schottky TTL products, utilized in thousands of high-speed digital applications, from word processing to space exploration, from small business micros to number-crunching supercomputers. With the help of our product marketing engineers and on-site design team, our customers are developing new applications for fast products daily. Production begins here in design and development. Using advanced computer design stations, our engineers create and test new device configurations in a fraction of the time required for manual design and prototyping. Powerful simulation software allows us to model all typical failure modes and test parameters. An exhaustive real-time process tracking system known as InSight provides designers with continually updated test results during the actual production run. Through this system of instantaneous design manufacture feedback, we have implemented the tightest quality control measures in the industry. Insight is a product of Fairchild's Advanced Research and Development Lab, working in cooperation with our in-house computerization group. Through an integrated network of data terminals and direct equipment links, Insight samples the operating status of each key piece of equipment in the plant. Problems can now be anticipated and avoided before they actually occur, reducing downtime, increasing the yield of good parts. It takes this kind of exhaustive process control and monitoring system to fully realize the potential of automated production technology. Thin slices of monocrystalline silicon form the substrate backing of each device. As many as 11 layers of complex, miniaturized circuitry are implanted, deposited, and grown onto the silicon wafer in over 200 individual process steps. A single four-inch diameter slice of silicon may contain as many as 6,000 individual chips or dye. This intricate pattern of dye is the result of a highly refined photolithographic process known as masking. From the circuit layouts generated by our design engineers, a set of finely detailed photographic plates are produced called masks. Masks are produced for each of the complex layers of circuitry that make up a particular device. A typical transistor is composed of three separate elements, a collector, a base, and an emitter. Insulating layers called isolation must also be produced to separate the individual components on the chip. Finally, connections between components are created along with the bonding pads which will connect the device to the outside world. The pattern of each of these layers is a photographic image imprinted on the wafer using a mask. The collector element is the first layer to be generated. To create it, a thin coating of photoresist material is spun onto an oxidized wafer. 
The wafer then goes to a device called a projection aligner, which positions and exposes the wafer to the collector mask using ultraviolet light. This exposed photoresist material is developed and the oxide etched, leaving a wafer with tens of thousands of tiny holes cut through the oxide to the silicon beneath. In this computer simulation, we see the etched surface of a single chip. If we examine a cross-section of the device, we can see the holes in the oxide layer created during mask and etch, as well as the bare silicon below. The wafer is loaded into a high-temperature diffusion oven, where a vapor is passed over it. The vapor diffuses down into the crystalline structure of the silicon, giving it the desired electrical characteristics. When the process is complete, the oxide layer is removed, leaving a pattern of diffused material embedded in the surface of the wafer. The wafer is now loaded into an epitaxial reactor, where a new layer of silicon is grown on top of it, sealing the diffused collector layer inside. Once again, the wafer is masked and etched, this time in preparation for the isolation step. In isolation, the wafer is placed in an oxidation furnace where an insulating layer of silicon dioxide is grown down into the troughs of the etched isolation pattern. The oxide is grown all the way down to the surface of the original silicon beneath, creating a barrier which will insulate the chip's transistor elements from one another in the finished IC. The base and emitter elements of the chip are created next. After going through another mask step, the wafer is loaded into the vacuum chamber of a device called an ion implanter. Inside the implanter, the wafer is bombarded with ionized atoms. Our computer simulated cross-section shows the ionized particles penetrating the bare epilayer in the area where the photoresist has been developed away. In this way, an element such as the base of a transistor is created. When the implantation process is finished, the resist layer is cleaned away, revealing hundreds or even thousands of base implants on a single chip of the wafer. After the emitter element has been implanted in a similar way, the wafer is ready for the final interconnection step, metal deposition. Utilizing a process known as sputtering, a thin film of metal is deposited one molecule at a time over the entire surface of the wafer filling in the base and emitter contact holes. Once the surface is coated, the wafer is again masked and etched. The unwanted metal is removed, leaving a complex pattern of interconnects that tie the chip's thousands of components together. The wafer is now electronically complete. In the testing area, wafers are loaded automatically onto self-aligning probe stations where thousands of test operations are performed in the space of a few seconds. Functionally bad dye are marked with a single dot of ink for identification during final assembly. Data collected during the test sort operation is transferred to InSight for correlation with other process control information, allowing us to continually refine the production process. This data is also available to our design engineers who use it in their ongoing development and testing work. Through this system of total process feedback, we have pushed our quality assurance levels far beyond the limits of standard IC manufacturing operations. At this point, production splits into two distinctly different process flows. A new robotics assembly line for high quality commercial grade products, and an expanded high reliability line for military grade devices. High rail parts go through a rigorous ceramic packaging assembly process, producing parts able to withstand the harsh environmental conditions of aerospace and defense applications. All high rail parts are hermetically sealed using packaging techniques required by military test specifications. In our new high rail test and burn in facility, 100% of all mil-spec microcircuits undergo carefully monitored temperature cycle and centrifuge tests. Parts are subjected to forces up to 30,000 Gs, 3,000 times the force tolerated by the human body. Next, they go through an exhaustive burn-in procedure, continuous electrical checking and rechecking at high temperature for over 100 hours. 
final high and low temperature AC and DC tests are then performed, followed by an extensive quality control review, which pulls together production and test data gathered at every step along the process flow. The Insight system allows us to readily cross-reference this data for each device lot, providing the most complete quality assurance documentation in the most efficient way possible. Our new commercial products packaging line is the first fully automated IC assembly facility in the country. From frame attach to laser mark, every assembly and test process is automated. Each piece of production equipment monitored more than eight times a minute by InSight. Tested wafers arriving from sort are automatically attached to adhesive frames and loaded onto the wafer saw for cleaning and dicing. Sword wafers then go to the automated die attachers, the very first units of their kind in the world. Designed in conjunction with Fairchild's own production equipment engineers, these die attachers perform six coordinated assembly steps in one operation. First, they visually scan the wafer, mapping into memory the locations of all the good die. Next, they pick the good die off and attach them to the lead frame with a drop of adhesive. Completed die lead frame assemblies are then transported over to the automated wire binders, where the IC is electrically connected to the frame. Operating programs for the wire binders are downloaded from the system's host computer. Retooling is a matter of simply downloading the proper device program. With this highly integrated, flexible manufacturing system, Fairchild is setting new standards of quality and efficiency for the IC industry. Dual inline package molding is the domain of four new robotics entities. Transport robot number one, the transfer molding press, transport number two, and the laser mark. Robot number one places the bonded assemblies in the molding press. The molder encases the parts in high quality plastic housings. Number one then removes the packaged parts and hands them off to robot number two. Number two loads them into the laser marker for bottom side marking, then on to be cured and cleaned. Next, the lead frames are separated, formed, and soldered. Finished parts go on to electrical test, where automated testing equipment performs both DC and AC operational checks on each part. Electrically good devices are sent on to final topside laser mark, where high intensity laser emissions burn the customer codes into the device package at a rate of 14 parts per second. After a final rigorous quality assurance review, finished and marked parts are taken to our new automated distribution center. Here all parts produced by the Digital Products Division are stored in one highly efficient centralized facility, featuring the latest in automated storage and retrieval systems. From a potential inventory of more than 29 million units, we can pick, pack, and ship an order, all in a single day, reducing turnaround and delivery times by as much as 72 hours. Today, the IC marketplace is flooded with claims of competitive product innovation, faster processors, denser memories, high-performance digital logic. Fairchild Advanced Schottky TTL meets this challenge head-on with the most complete line of high-speed, low-power TTL devices in the industry. But product innovation alone is no longer enough. The pressures of today's international semiconductor industry demand that bolder steps be taken. At Fairchild Digital, we have taken these steps bringing together the best technology with the best people. Their aggressive spirit and enthusiasm, their skill and dedication to the goals of quality and higher productivity have built the most unique semiconductor production facility in the country. This is the image of Fairchild's future, an image forged from the vision and plain hard work of talented people, a future that begins here and now at Fairchild Digital.